Okay, wow, this guy is happy. All right, so last news. Baptist Church in Florida hires convicted child molester as a pastor. No way. Are you serious? Okay, here's the news summary. Daryl Gilliard molested two girls and was sentenced to three years in prison. There were additional allegations outside the state of Florida. Okay, so these are allegations, but they're actually charges that he was sentenced for as well. Making matters worse, his SBC mentor was disgraced leader Paige, Peggy, Peggy Patterson, who downplayed those accusations. He said some were untrue without evidence. He also said some of the women making the claims were not innocent either. What? Uh, which is nothing more than victim blaming 101. Gilliard is back in the news now because as it turns out, he's got a new job at a new church. Far from being canceled, the registered sex offender is the new pastor at Mount Arad Baptist Church in Jacksonville. This is true Christianity, okay? If you guys say like, what are these people thinking? How does this make sense? Why would they do this? This guy is uh, not just an accused child molester. He's not just an accused child molester. He's a sentenced child molester. This makes complete sense. This is the absurdity of Christianity. If in fact, if you're a Christian and you're saying, oh, I'm not going to go to this church because blah, 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 then you're not Christianing right. This is true Christianity because all sins are forgiven through Christ. This is not because these people are being unchristian and this is this is because these people are being true Christians. What do you think, Rivka? I was reading the article a little bit more. Um, well, here's what I think. I, I agree with you that, you know, they're saying, oh, you know, we should just forgive him a lot of times, which is your point. But the other thing that I'm just shocked at is if you are a, sent to jail for child molestation, that means you're a registered sex offender. Yeah. And you're not supposed to be, if you're a registered sex offender, you're not legally allowed to be around children or in areas where there are children so can people not bring their kids to his services can they not have sunday school like i don't understand how this can even happen yeah legally yeah you're right how does it happen Somebody i, I just us. don't understand and then all registered sex offenders are on list a list and you can look it up so everybody in the neighborhood, even if they're not a member of that church, could look it up and say, this guy is at this church on Sundays, who's a I just the whole thing, I don't even know how it could happen. But aside from the, le the ability of it to happen, yeah, I do agree with you that this is sort of the... I mean, isn't this the Christian thing, right? You know, you're supposed mm. to just accept Jesus, and then he washes it all away. And you're supposed to away, forgive this person. This is and then you forgive him for all his bad stuff. Because this is the stories we hear over and over and over again. The pastor gets caught in the motel room with, you know, a bag of cocaine and 15 hookers. And then he's in front of his church crying and saying they counseled him and there was the devil and everything. And they're all like, okay, you know, we forgive yeah. you. Come on back. Everything's fine. Yeah, this is, again, a lot of people sell this in uh, Christianity as, oh, at least Christianity teaches you to forgive people. That's not a good thing. You should not forgive everything. Are you going to forgive Hitler or Stalin? Like everything? Like this is taking something that is good. A little bit if you if for small things and taking it to a whole crazy place that doesn't make any sense forgiving everything does not make any sense this is not a, a even some atheists think like oh this is some one of the good parts of christianity that it teaches you forgiveness what is teaching you to forgive child molestation like is that a good thing that should not be well, forgiven even if you could forgive somebody for terrible things that doesn't mean that you forget it that you allow them to be in a position to do it again, that you make 
other people vulnerable all of these things have yeah, nothing in my mind them. you should, maybe you could give people even if somebody does something so horrible and you're giving them and they have they they change and now they're a better person and you're giving a second chance at something else not the same thing um you could still do all of that without forgiving them from what they originally did you don't have to forgive them you don't no, you, you should, don't you should not forgive them you could give even the most horrible people second chances without forgiving them yes and i think you can do that and i think you could also forgive somebody for being small things a bad person or having some problems and they did what they did but you still don't have to forget put yourself in a position to have it happen again right. allow them to be in your life anymore i mean these are like really kind of complex and nuanced things but when it comes to children adults have a responsibility to protect them from mol yeah. from predators yeah i was sued bottom line if this person touched if any kids or anything i would sue this church they put children at harm's way knowingly um but i don't know how the laws work in the united states but isn't it different from state by state it usually is but so, i'm good. looking it up right now like the laws on so um, uh, that's too much detail forget about it but let's say if somebody finds it let, let us know in the comment section but the top comment, the two top comments are so, is something that I want to address, um, and we we'll leave it at that. Michael is saying, "Isn't that required qualification for the position?" Basically, he's saying child molestation is required. You know, it's a joke. Fernando's making a similar joke, saying a child molester is the best qualified for the job. Maybe it is a, it's it is even within the job description. I hope again. I hope these are only jokes, and people do not assume. That every goddamn priest or pa pastor or whatever religious authority is necessarily a child molester. I understand that some of these people are jerking, some of them are not. But do not make general statements about priests or, you know. It is true that it's more like they have a higher representation and high, there's a higher chance of them being, uh, you know, child molesters. Uh, and if you adjust per capita based on other people, but do not make general statements about any group of people unless the only time that you make can make a general statement about any group of people is that the label of those group of people is the definition. The definition of that label is the statement that you're making. Right. So if you say all Muslims believe in Allah and Muhammad as his prophet. Um, that's not a generalization because you're literally defining what a Muslim is. Okay, so that's generalizations are only okay if your statement about the group of people is the definition of those group of people. Um, all right, so do you guys want to add anything? Oh, the Chris in the live chat is saying, I'm pretty sure that comment was sarcasm, not easy to convey it in the text. In text form. Yeah, so that's why I say we don't know which ones are jokes and which ones are not. So that's why I said it. By the way, this was in Florida. Somebody, uh, somebody, I think Smithy is pointing out that maybe it would be a more accurate generalization about this being a Floridian thing. No, it's not. Anyways, I was going to make it. Anyways, did you guys want to add anything? Well, just very quickly, I just very quickly went through a bunch of things, and there's a ton of laws in Florida about protecting kids from sexual predators, monitoring sexual predators, community control. I mean, so I public records of sexual predators. So, you know, I'm guessing that this guy may not have his job for very long once people in the neighborhood find out. Hmm. Okay, so that was, uh, Shopam, you didn't have anything else to add? Uh, no, no, I'm good. I just want to mention Christy is so good in the live chat. She makes our live chat a lot more fun. So thank you so much for Christy to being there. Uh, I think a lot of people have more fun talking in the live chat because she's there and responding to everywhere. So thank you so much, Christy, for for being there always. It's so, I, I, I enjoy reading her comments, even though I don't read them because she's not tagging Aces Republic. Sometimes I notice them. It's just so much fun to be in the live chat with her. 
thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Smithy. Thank you, Doorknob Heb. Thank you, Another Godless Atheist. Uh, Susanna, thank you so much for the super chat. That was very sweet. Ronnie on Facebook, I'm saying Heidi, Martha, Michael, Johan. Please share our videos. Please share our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share our YouTube channel with other people. Tell them to subscribe to it. Help our YouTube channel grow. It's not it's not growing because YouTube hates us, but you guys could help us fight YouTube's algorithm and finally make our YouTube channel grow. We started later than all these algorithm adjustments. So while everybody else grew on YouTube, we didn't get the chance to take advantage of that bump. We were focusing on Facebook and we did very good on Facebook. Our Facebook is uh, 2,300,000 right now, but we're so late on the YouTube uh, uh, train and we lost that um, big, uh, you know, opportunity to grow fast. And now the algorithms are working against us, but if we could turn that around, we could, you know, stimulate somehow the algorithm to notice that our channel deserves to grow by getting all these signals to all these bots and you know tell them like look people like our channel they're sharing it they're linking to it they're liking it they're commenting so this is good youtube this is good stuff suggest that to other people okay so just it helps us grow if you do all of that okay so thank you thank you everybody and we guys we'll see you guys again and uh, next week, Chris, last I'll like, see you in two weeks. Two weeks. I'm oh. going to be gone for two weekends. Yeah, this is why I was reading the news today because I was practicing for, for when Griff goes away. Chris is saying, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, I already read that. Why did I miss that? Um, <laughs> let me go. Actually, yeah, okay, that's it. All right. See you guys. Shopam, thank you for everything. Uh, Shopam, we missed you f for a while as well. We need you when we have Indian news. You can't not be here. We have when we have Indian news. Nobody will. But we you love out. you for Everybody other stuff too. Last week. <laughs> yes, we love you for other stuff as well. Anyways, bye guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So